Good morning, good afternoon, uh, welcome to this symposium and in the next uh, 20 minutes uh, I would like to discuss with you the role of uh, circulating endothelial test, uh, cells in the context of uh, COVID-19. As uh, a company that uh, is offering a solution to isolate, to isolate circulating real cells in the blood, including an integrated workflow for the enrichment and enumeration of circulating endothelial cells. At the beginning of uh, the COVID outbreak, we came together in order to understand how, if and how, we can help in COVID research. The first observation that caught our uh, attention was uh, um, that the fact that uh, the entry receptor of uh, the virus uh, AC2 is present not only on epithelial cells of lung, obviously, but also on uh, endothelial cells. As you know, uh, the most uh, common clinical manifestation of COVID is uh, pneumonia, and uh, the most severe complication is uh, the acute uh, uh, respiratory distress uh, syndrome that is indeed uh, a pathology of uh, the alveolar epithelial and endothelial barrier in the lung and uh, the virus can attack both sides. But what we learn during uh, the pandemia uh, from the research is that uh, uh, endothelium is playing a uh, <coughs> central role. The vascular injury in fact uh, due to the entry of the virus can uh, lead to activation on many uh, uh, physiological system in a uh, uh, <coughs> concomitant way, like the calicrine bradykin system, the release of cytokine, the activation obviously due to the image of basal membrane of uh, co uh, coagulation system, the activation of the complement, and all these systems amplify the pro-inflammatory response that in the end is the response of the worsening of the <clears throat> lung damage and all the, uh, other damage of other tissues around the body. And in fact, uh, COVID disease is a systemic disease and in the most uh, uh, severe cases, at the end, the vascular system is out of control. A demonstration that uh, uh, COVID disease uh, uh, is a systemic disease uh, <clears throat> Uh, are also the occurrence of cardiovascular manifestation. They start to be reported soon after that outbreak of uh, the pandemia in a Western country. And we, uh, <clears throat> we are knowledge that patients could go to see the doctor not only for breath, short breath, but also for cardiovascular symptoms. And the National Health Commission in China reported that more than 10% of deaths uh, show substantial heart damage without an underlying COVID um, cardiovascular disease. I do not want to go through, for reason of time, to all the evidences that, uh, reporting the relevance of cardiovascular, the relevance and the frequency of a cardiovascular events during this infection. I want only to underline, as uh, is very well done in this uh, publication of science, that the virus can directly attack myocardial tissue uh, through the infection of uh, cardiomyocytes, but can damage the tissue with the, the uh, indirect mechanism that we have just discussed, pro-inflammatory uh, status, uh, blood clots and endotheliitis. Circulated endothelial cells uh, has been reported to be uh, uh, a marker of uh, endothelial damage in several conditions, cancer, uh, autoimmune disease, other viral um, infection. But uh, uh, it's uh, quite interesting that they are linked to cardiovascular events, to the damage of kidney. Uh, uh, of endothelial and kindling. So, taking consideration also what we have discussed before, that the counter resemble pulmonary endothelial damage and uh, the activation of pro-inflammatory cascade, they look like a, a, a good tool to study 
uh, to be studied in, uh, uh, along the course of the infection. And in fact, uh, some uh, groups and uh, uh, infectious disease uh, uh, physicians start to uh, study CEC in their patients. The first report uh, were published in uh, May, uh, late May, June, and these are two uh, of the uh, uh, I would say oldest. The group in, Sa uh, in hospital Sacco and Dr. Mancuso uh, uh, group analyzed the level of CECs and uh, uh, circulating endothelial progenitors and you see that the viable CECs are increased in mild and uh, uh, severe disease in respect to healthy donors. And when we are at the recovery of the disease, they went down. The same is uh, occur also for the progenitor, even if they do not go uh, down at the level of healthy uh, volunteers, even at the recovery. The apoptotic cells, uh, progenitor cells, were um, they positive correlated co with viral load. Another group in North Italy, in Pavia, analyzed the CC count in a small court of uh, patients, 30 patients, and they observed that the median value were significantly higher than an healthy subject healthy subject. More recently, a French group analyzed the CEC in uh, uh, COVID patients, uh, in ICU patients and in non-ICU patients. You see that the severe cases had higher level of CECs. Interesting, the non-ICU patient with the, uh, a chronic kidney disease had higher level of CECs. Furthermore, the CC uh, uh, negatively correlated with platelet and lymphocyte to parameter to uh, feature of adverse prognostic uh, uh, factor. And uh, uh, on they in uh, while they uh, positively correlate with two index of inflammation, IP10 and VCAM1. Finally, another French group analyzed the CEC in patients admitted to their hospital because of respiratory problems. And the COVID-positive patients, CCC patients, had higher level of CEC in comparison with the non-COVID patients. And furthermore, uh, the patients, the COVID patients that at the time of the admission were treated with the anticoagulant had lower level of CCs in comparison with the uh, non-treated one, suggesting that maybe this parameter could help in uh, assessing uh, the efficacy of the response to a treatment. I believe the, uh, the majority of you know very well uh, our uh, technology uh, uh, that uh, is based on uh, ferrofluid and can allow to the conjugation with antibody to isolate rare cells in the, in the blood. In regard of uh, CTC, we are using uh, uh, a ferrofluid uh, conjugated with anti outcome antibody and we are uh, the gold standard to enumerate uh, tumor uh, circulating tumor cells. The test received the, the clearance of FTA for the monitoring of metastatic uh, breast, uh, prostate and colorectal lung um, cancer together with the other clinical images tools. In regard of uh, cell search CEC test, we are using ferrofluid anti, uh, conjugated with anti-CD146. In this case, the test is for research use only, but is well established in several settings, and more than 30 peer-reviewed papers are available.
available. We do believe that uh, the great experience that we have on co in oncology with our platform and uh, the, large, the great use uh, that has been done in large clinical trials can be transferred in uh, the COVID setting with the CEC test, offering a robust and reproducible uh, approach to evaluate uh, the endothelial cells in this context. Here you see uh, our uh, workflow and you see that we start with the dedicated uh, preservative tubes that allow us to, um, to uh, process the sample in uh, 72 hours, uh, the, the blood can be stored at room temperature, the cells track um, auto prep, automatically prepares the sample, the rich sample is, tra is transferred in the manuscript cartridge and then the cell analyzer provides the images to be analyzed by the operator and here we have the images that um, captured CD146 uh, positive cell are stained with anti-CD105, the anti-CD45 and API, and the endothelial cells, the circulating endothelial cells, are recognized with the CD105 positive, DAPI positive, CD45 negative. As I told you, Many of uh, we, uh, the, this platform, this test has been applied to different pathological conditions, but uh, interesting, it was uh, applied to myocardial infarction, and you see the patient with MI has a higher number of CECs in respect of uh, con um, LT donors, 90 cells for male towards 4 ml. And um, furthermore, the images of uh, uh, the cells uh, of AMI patients are differ from uh, the control. They have uh, multi-nuclei and uh, when we have more than three nuclei per, for image, uh, there is a differentiation with uh, the LT uh, donors and the, uh, in, the cells appear like synchitia. Um, the overall uh, information on uh, uh, the uh, uh, central role of, endothelial, uh, uh, of endothelium and the first preliminary result on the evaluation of CECs in COVID patients raised the interest in, uh, uh, expert, in infectious disease expert and in the physician to uh, evaluate uh, uh, the cells uh, with uh, a, a more standardized approach uh, using uh, a cell search. And here I report the planned and ongoing study uh, that uh, are present uh, so far. The first one is uh, uh, a planned study close to the activation that uh, is going to be conducted in Northwestern University in Chicago. They are focused in evaluating the CC as a biomarker for cardiovascular disease. In fact, the PI is the cardiologist. I bet that the majority of you know very well the co-PI, Massimo Cristofanilli, a great expert in liquid biopsy, in particular in a cell-based liquid biopsy. In Bologna, we have another study that is using our um, platform uh, to evaluate the, the circulating endothelial cells. It is, it is run in uh, uh, infectious disease department, uh, directed by Professor Viale in collaboration with another site in Ancona, directed by Dr. Tavio. The analysis of the cell is done in the lab, directed by Dr. Bugani, by Dr. Petrovic. Also in uh, Ospedale Luigi Sacco, there is another uh, evaluation of CC count in a, uh, as an, a, an additional monitoring to patients with uh, uh, Covid, the study uh, PI are Professor Galli and uh, Professor Agostino Riva, while the analysis of the cell is done in the laboratory of uh, European Inst uh, Oncology Institute in Milan uh, by Dr. Zorzino 
and uh, Professor Passerini. I want just to share with you the, uh, the design of uh, uh, Northwest study. You see that the symptomatic patients are uh, uh, coming to the Institute are uh, at this line uh, evaluated for cardiovascular events uh, quite extensively with imaging and serum test, standardized serum test and CC. They undergo to treatment according to the protocol enforced in the institution. 72 hours later they receive, uh, they are uh, um, uh, stay, uh, assessment again from the cardiological point of view and with CECs and the last point to be uh, tested is uh, uh, before uh, the hospital discharge and when clinical endpoints occur that can be uh, cardiovascular events uh, <clears throat> Um, acute respiratory syndrome or any clinical uh, uh, progression on the judgment of physician. The, um, the primary point is the enumeration and the correlation with the, uh, disease severity. Interesting, they are going to analyze also the expression of uh, AC2 receptor uh, as a secondary uh, endpoint. Uh, the University uh, of Bologna, the study in the University of Bologna is uh, ongoing and uh, uh, the primary uh, objective is to assess the feasibility of our platform in the context of uh, an acute infection and uh, the description of the dynamic of CC enumeration during COVID. Uh, secondly, they are going to evaluate uh, the, uh, uh, the correlation with the clinical ev evolution and uh, the correlation with uh, the inflammatory cytokine profile. Interesting, in this case, we, uh, the, in the, site, the, um, in the study enroll only mild and moderate uh, disease uh, um, uh, patients according to the guidelines. I have to thank the, uh, the group of Professor uh, Viale, Dr. Bugani and Dr. Petrovic to share with us the, the very preliminary results. They have enrolled so far 20 patients and the first 20 patients demonstrated that uh, this search enumeration is, com is fully feasible in the context of an acute uh, infection trial. The baseline of the first 20 patients is equal to 14 cells uh, and is quite higher in respect of the four cells that were observed in uh, uh, LT donor in, in the Damiani paper that I quoted before. Interesting, uh, they observed that 30% of patients have at baseline uh, uh, an aspect uh, syncytia, like it has been observed in the MI, in the MI patients. Obviously, these are very, very preliminary uh, observations that need confirmation in the future. The study in uh, Milano, uh, once again, uh, as a, for primary endpoint, the enumeration of CC and uh, uh, the evaluation of CC count as a predict marker of clinical evolution. You see that uh, in that case, uh, they have uh, interest in uh, secondary uh, endpoint. Once again, the correlation with serum inflammatory parameter, the monitoring during uh, uh, treatment and the correlation with the uh, cardiovascular complication. In this case, uh, the, um, severe disease is not an exclusion uh, criteria. The time points are uh, almost the same for all the study. Uh, hospital admission, 72 hours disease uh, progression and hospital discharge. I Once again, I thank you so much uh, Professor Galli Riva and Dr. Zozzino for share their data. You see that uh, they uh, enrolled 70 patients so far, the majority with asymptomatic and mild infection, according to the period in which the study was started, that was uh, uh, the COVID outbreak was much more in control at that time. The pneumonia patient had IRCC, independent of disease severity, the CC uh, positive correlated with IL-6. I just want to show you one 
uh, interesting case of a patient that uh, at hospital admission have a moderate uh, disease with the 71 cells, I would say at the upper limit level in respect of healthy uh, donors. At the 72 hour without clinical progression, the uh, CC went up threefold, while the other parameters of inflammation remain flat in comparison with the baseline value. After some days, the, uh, um, unfortunately, the uh, um, uh, patient uh, underwent uh, to clinical progression and in that case uh, the CC went up more than 10 times higher and also the other parameter. What is very interesting is that in this case we have uh, 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 the CC count increase precede uh, the clinical progression. I believe that uh, all of what we have discussed uh, uh, up to now, the uh, central role of uh, endothelial cells, the first uh, result on the uh, evaluation of CCs, and this pre very preliminary results with our uh, um, platform, um, demonstrate that it's quite important uh, to study this kind of cell during COVID, because they can be a real uh, time tool to monitoring the disease. They can be a biomarker of disease severity, of cardiovascular uh, events, and they can be offered a uh, a marker to uh, study the pharmacodynamic or pharmacokinetic effect of new therapeutic intervention. For time reason, I could not have the time to uh, uh, explain that we can also characterize molecularly the, uh, uh, the cells. And this is another point, uh, very important, because we can have real-time non-invasive biopsy in order to understand the pathogenesis of the disease and identify new potential targets for treatment for our patients. And with that, I ended my um, presentation. I thank you so much for your attention and I'm available for any question.